You think this is clickbait? This is not clickbait, man. <laughs> this is a reaction video to the best president in modern American history. You can't dispute that. Take that. Take it to the bank. Joe Biden is the best president America has ever seen. Didn't he get like the most votes in American history? Come on, man. Obviously, he's the best president ever. I don't know what y'all are talking about, man. This guy, if <laughs> if he runs again, he's going to win. Trump ain't, Trump ain't got nothing on him. Trump doesn't stand a chance if Joe Biden decides to run again. Right? Let's let's react to the highlight of the best president America has ever seen. I stand by it. Take it to the bank. Joe Biden is my man. Joe Biden 20 <laughs> Joe Biden 2024. <laughs> <clears throat> Joe Biden 2024. I'm serious. Let's go. Hey, the same stable genius that said the biggest problem we had in the Revolutionary War is we didn't have enough airports. Take that back a little bit. What's he saying? Oh my lord. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Let's go roll it back. Hey, the same stable genius that said the biggest problem we had in the Revolutionary War is we didn't have enough air. <laughs> oh. Yo, man. Hey. He said it. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Oh no. Oh, this is too much. Oh man, I have to oh I have to compose myself. Whew. I'm passing out live on camera. Alright. Oh, I'm going to have to edit the shit out of this video, man. Oh, my Lord. I'm snorting and everything. Ooh. Oh, my. Let's see. It is what it is. All right. Well, it is what it is because he is who he is. That's why it is what it is. More than <laughs> half the women in my cabinet, more than more than half the people in my cabinet, more than half the women in, the, in my administration are women. What did that just mean? <laughs> I can't do it. <sighs> oh my lord, not supposed to laugh at the elderly, but this guy. <sighs> oh man, he's gone. He is gone. There's no one home, man. Ooh. <sighs> oh my lord. Let's go. Included groundbreaking Asian Americans like Vera Wang and 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 Joan. Shengang, 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 What is he saying? What is he saying? Very wank, but bang, bang. What is he saying? Groundbreaking Asian Americans like Vera Wang and, and, and Joan. Shengang, 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 This guy, oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord, oh, 
Oh, oh my God, this is like Mr. Bean as president. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, okay, okay. All right. We need to calm down. Okay. Oh. Oh, my Lord. Okay, okay. Let's go. Shanga Ko Koala. Koala? If you're, two, if, you're two, uh, uh, if you're a family that's a two uh, wage earner, each of the parents, one making 30 grand, one making 40 or 50, maybe that's a little more than, well, yeah, they need the money. And now I'm standing next to the president. Oh, dumb and dumber. Oh my God. Imagine these two people having a debate. <laughs> This one, this one in purple hoodie had a stroke and he can barely even put two words together. This one's got Alzheimer's or dementia. So both of them, is, is, it, it, it'd be an entire gobbledygook. <laughs> you have members of the audience, people watching from in, on TV, like, what would they say though? You're just going blah 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 You're not going to understand anything. They're both gone. They're both gone. These two, Mitch McConnell and Diane Feinstein, they just like go one foot in the grave and another in the, on on a banana peel. They are gone. They shouldn't be in power. They shouldn't be anywhere near office. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even let. They wouldn't even win manager of a. An election for to be manager of a supermarket of a mini mart, but they're running serious office in American politics. Again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here, and he is what? Um, well, yeah, they need the money. A collapse. And now I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here, and he. Is this a joke? How do we expect the rest of the world to take us seriously? When our entire polit political system is just a... It's, like, it's, it's a sitcom. <laughs> Look at this. I've laughed so hard watching this than any comedy show I've been to this year. He's here to commit to work with the, the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed the delegation as well too this is a president that is committed to infrastructure yeah and then on top of that uh, the the jewel uh kind of a uh, uh, law of the in fresh in fresh uh bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all across like this all across the america getting rebuilt and by the way the 20 the 200 million the 200,000 people that have died on his watch there, how many of those have survived? <laughs> Thank you, Secretary Buttigieg. <laughs> how many of those have survived? Secretary <laughs> Buttigieg! Secretary Buttigieg! That's Pete Buttigieg, right? Well, it's got a weird name. Buttigieg. But how you go from Buttigieg to Buttigieg? <laughs> Buttigieg. Oh, this guy is gone. There's no one home, man. He is gone. What? What? Thank you, Secretary Buttigieg. <laughs> COVID has taken this year. Just since the outbreak, it's taken more than 100 years. Look, here's the lives. It's just, it's a, when you think about it. You, you, you got the vaccination? Yeah. Are, are, you, are you okay? I mean, you seem, no, it works. Or, you, you know, or, 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 or the mom and dad or, 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 or the neighbor or when you go to church or when you're, no, no I, I, I really mean it. There are trusted interlocutors. Think of the people. If, if your kid wanted to find out, whether or not there were 
there's a man on the moon or whatever, you know, something, or, you know, whether those aliens are here or not. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the f I'm talking about. I be He's just mumbling things. Whatever comes to his head is just saying the, the wires are not connecting. His mental faculty is basically like Swiss cheese right now. This man doesn't, he's not there. You actually think this guy is making any vital decision that's going on around, that, that, that's affecting millions, billions of people on the planet? You think this man is in charge of anything? They just tell him what to say, put whatever in front of him and he just signs it. What? Is this the state of America? What? We cut the deficit by a hundred and sixty billion dollars. Billion. B I L L I O N. <laughs> How do you spell billion again, Mr. President? I, we cut the deficit by a hundred and sixty billion dollars. Okay. Billion. B I L L I O N. Whoa. Dollars on the Medicare deal. Mr. President, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. Appreciate it's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where is it going? Where are you going? Sit back down. Leave at commercial break. Where are you going walking off to? Sit down. <sighs> They'll cut to commercial and then you leave. <sighs> this guy is embarrassing. He's so embarrassing anywhere it's a very exciting day around here um we'll have reaction um, and so if you were in charge of nato if you were say joe biden uh what would your next move be in the war in ukraine what would you do peace immediately call back trump that's 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 the only way out call back trump call back trump because you know you can criticize him for many reasons i understand all the all the discussion but you know the best foreign policy of the recent several decades belongs to him he did not initiate any new war. Yes. He treated nicely the, 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 the North Koreans and, and Russia, even the Chinese, you know. He, he, he delivered a policy which was the best one for Middle, for Middle East, Abraham Accords. Yes. So, so that was a very good foreign policy. He asked, you know, he's criticized that he is not, you know, he's not educated enough to understand the word. But this is not the case. Facts count. His foreign policy was the best one for the world in the last several decades I have seen. And if he would have been the president at the moment of the Russian invasion started, no, it would, it, it would be not possible to do that by the Russians. So Trump is the man who can save the Western world and the, probably the human beings in, uh, in the globe as well. That's, that's my personal conviction. So basically, the only person that's interested in bringing peace and saving humanity is the same person they're trying to lock up right now. What does that tell you? They don't care about you.